Hi guys, I just wanted to run for you uh, a quick video uh, of XBMC running on my iPad 2. Um, I use this uh, a hell of a lot. Probably, I would say every single day I'll probably go onto it uh, to watch either a movie or check a ch new channel out, watch some Sky channels for free. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and hit on our XBMC. As you can see, we have videos, pictures, music, programs. Um, I've done a video of this before, uh, but I'll, on this one, I'll go into a bit more depth into uh, what it can actually do. Uh, so the first thing we can do is check out. Uh, let's check out some programs. So basically, XBMC is a platform, um, or a media platform for um, your Xbox, a Microsoft Xbox. And you can add add-ons, zip files to this, download them, install them. So, for instance, this one I've installed NaviX, uh, and let's uh, show you what it sort of does. So, click on that. I always click on the uh, most viewed in 24 hours. Uh, a lot of people go to the uh, latest media entries, but there's thousands, thousands and thousands. So, I'll keep it simple and go to the most viewed in 24 hours. And here you see uh, a few uh, add-ons that people have put up themselves. Uh, like K1MO5 Live TV um, he's got literally nearly all the Sky channels on there including some sports uh, channels like Fox Soccer which you can uh, watch live uh, Premiership Football on a Saturday so for instance we've gone to his sort of site let's call it and as you can see um, he's got loads of channels uh, Fox, Fox HD Discovery Channel uh, Animal Planet, BBC One. Uh, what's nice about his uh, site is that he's actually put them into like a bit of a TV guide. So you click onto guide, you've got new news, TV, music, movies, sports, etc. So obviously I always uh, use the sports, so click onto sports. And then you've got sporting events, uh, sports channels, and obviously what's uh, the testing area. So let's go to sports channels for instance. And as you can see there, there's a whole load of sports channels. Now my favourite is Fox Soccer. Uh, there's not any football on at the moment, um, but I just want to show you, uh, once you click on it, what you actually get. And as you can see, there's some sort of uh, football from, obviously, I don't know which country it's from. But again, uh, you can see it's pretty good quality. Uh, it's football. Like I say, on um, Saturdays, uh, you have a choice of uh, football, Premiership football, that's not available in the UK, i.e. through the normal Sky Sports channels. Um, like I say, you've got ESPN on there, Chelsea TV, um, loads and loads of sports channels. So if you want to go back, let's go back, and let's go back right to the beginning. And so that's, for instance, one website, as I would call it. Um, another good one I use is Just Me For You To See Movies, which has loads and loads of movies on, and also has the uh, up-to-date movies that have just come out. Uh, here on your right-hand side, you can see um, when they've been added, now, I think it's after three or five days, after, after six days, obviously, it doesn't give you the time uh, of when um, they were added. But as you can see, there are quite a few new films on there. Uh, Man on a Ledger is a new one. Uh, again, they've got some old ones on there as well. Uh, but I know uh, yesterday I watched a new American Pie film, The Reunion, on uh, my iPad, which I'll show you where that is. Uh, so, for instance, if we want to click on one... Um, let's click on the hunt. It's the top one. It's been added today. It gives also the uh, year. As you can see, it's uh, pretty good quality. No buffering. So that's uh, one example. I don't want to leave on there too long. I just want to give you a quick uh, sample of what XBMC is all about, really. So let's exit out of Na that's NaviX. That's one add-on I've added onto there. So let's come out of there. 
Uh, and let's go over to uh, videos. Video add-ons, so all these all the add-ons I've added onto the XBMC. We've got Sports TV again, that's a good one for um, sports, premiership football, uh, boxing, stuff like that, it's cool. Uh, I've got my YouTube on it, it comes as standard. Um, I've got one channel, Fast Pass TV, Ice Films, which is not working at the moment. Uh, so one channel is probably the best one to take off from Ice Films with all your latest movies. So here you go, on to movies, you've got favourites, genres, features, most popular, highly rated, date released, etc, etc. So I always click on the uh, featured, which are normally the new ones that are out, and it will load up the uh, directory. Again, this is all my iPad 2. Um, now here you'll see a whole load of uh, films. Uh, on these ones you get starred, which are... Uh, which is pretty cool. So you've got Ghost Rider, that's a pretty new one. Um, Battleship, which is a, another new one. Uh, the Cabin in the Woods, I know, is, an, is a kind of new one. The Three Stooges is a new one. Um, John Carter, obviously, is a new one. Let's click on that. It's also got a date 2012, so obviously it's this year's. And this is what's cool about this, it gives you loads of links to choose from. So, um, you know, I always go for the ones that have got the most. So obviously this one has got uh, 27,000. Uh, it also gives you next to them if they're recorded in DVD or camera. There's very few camera uh, films on the, this site. It's mainly DVD, which is uh, pretty cool. So let's go and hit uh, 27, the one with 27,000. As you can see, it's uh, pretty good quality. Um, I say the only downside of this I find is that I can't airplay this uh, onto my Apple TV 2. Uh, even though I've got this on my Apple TV 2, for instance, if you didn't have it on there, it'd be nice to airplay it onto uh, your big TV in your lounge or uh, wherever you've got it. So obviously you can see this is a uh, Chinese copy. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's the movie side. Uh, let's go back to the home page. Uh, music uh, side. I haven't got any really music uh, add-ons here. Um, but you can add on thousands of channels, music channels, DABs, uh, from around the world. Uh, I've got SoundCloud. Um, that I've got. It's ready for me to set up. Like I say, I, I don't hardly ever use music, so... Um, we won't go into that one. And then the last one is pictures. Again, I don't use this for pictures. Uh, as you can see, it's empty. I can get more if I want to, um, which gives me choices uh, of you know iPhotos from my iPhone, or if I've got a Flickr account, Google account, etc. Like I can pop one to uh, your iPad and stream them from there. Um, but yeah, so I haven't got any uh, photos, but that's basically it really. It's a, it's a platform for you to uh, add on um, zip files, to unzip them, and view the content of them basically. Um, I hope this gives you a bit of an insight into uh, XBMC and what you can do. There's loads more uh, files I can add on to um, XBMC. Um, for instance, uh, UK residents can uh, have BBC iPlayer, uh, Channel 5 On Demand, uh, there's, there's loads and loads, and every day there seems to be a new uh, add-on you can get for it with some cool stuff. So hopefully that's given you a little insight into uh, XBMC on my iPad 2. Like I say, you can get it on other devices, on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and Apple TV. Um, so I hope you guys give it a go and see what you think.